for a lot of people, even if you work in your career or you do want to start a business, often for many people, it's to not just make money, but you want to start a business around your passions, do something that you genuinely love to do. And the idea is to build a business which both you love to do, it pays you well, it contributes to the world, and there's lots of factors to consider. So there is an exercise called Ikigai. If you search on YouTube, there are loads of tutorials and that kind of thing. But we find it really useful as a business tool to really help define what is it that you want to build or what is the career that you want to have. So the first question to ask, and you know, remember to have your pen and paper ready, what are the things that you love to do? And for this, don't just talk about stuff related to the business or career that you have but just stuff in general. For me, I love creating stuff. I love video, I love cameras. I love to use my brain, I love to learn. I love working with people, I love interaction, I love community engagement. I love playing on the Xbox, I like playing basketball. Really kind of list down everything that you love to do from playing the piano to listening to music. It doesn't matter what it is, really kind of list all your passions. The reason that we're looking to do this is that over the course of this kind of little exercise is to identify trends and things that we can do which make you special that will really help you in your business or your career or your personal brand that will help you move forward but the idea is don't just stick to one particular area that you think is the answer just genuinely think and get down everything that actually just makes you happy as a person what lights you up next is to really think about what does the world need this is something that can change over time in the marketing modules we go into SWOT and Pestel and how you know how the world changed and how things have changed but actually you know really start to think about actually relating to what you want to do if you want to launch a bakery what do people need well actually they need to eat they have lunch uh, they have dinner they have dinner parties they have lots of different things but actually if you try and launch a product that nobody actually needs or wants you're going to struggle. So this is almost just to get your ideas down and relating to what you want to do. Do people need it? And relating to this actually, what will people pay for? So as a prime example, if I wanted to do luxury retreats to the Bahamas and I will charge a million pounds per person, but it'll be a fantastic retreat. The retreat and the product might be fantastic, but how many people can actually afford to pay that? What we're looking to do here is actually from all of those things, what do you feel is a good market that actually, if you could do a luxury retreat on a budget where actually it's only 500 pounds, but you can give people a really good luxury experience, that is something that people will pay for. And what we're really looking to do is actually just find areas that you can be paid well for that really align with your passions, but also relating to your skill sets and the things that you love to do. You might want to be a writer, but actually what else do companies want to pay for? And they might actually pay for marketing, advertising, leadership, um, their website, lots of different things. The idea is actually just to start to write down everything that who your target market might actually want to pay for and really kind of get this down. And last but not least, these are all kind of to be done together. What are you actually kind of good at? One of my classic examples that I'm a terrible singer. I just can't sing, it's just fact. So if I wanted to become a singing coach or a professional singer, it's just not gonna happen. The more you really understand both what you love to do, what are you passionate about, what are you good at, what are people willing to pay for, and actually what does the world need? Within the middle of this is your ikigai. That's almost, that's the brilliant business and passion that you want to run and grow. And it's really kind of the more we do this and we do this as an exercise together as a group on the live sessions, it will just really help define what it is that you want to do. In the past on the course, we've had people that wanted to launch an art business, but they also had a passion, um, a passion for motorbikes and speedway. And they also love lots of different things. So one of the things that they've really built a really successful business around is doing speedway and motorbike art. And although that is quite a niche, it's a big enough niche that this person can build their business around. But it's really about how we do this exercise and get everything down and really kind of figure out what is it that will make you happy because there's no point running a business which you, you hate but makes you money this is really to really kind of find your passions and find something to really help you build a better world, build you know the business or career of your dreams. 
it is possible, but actually it does kind of start with you and some of these questions. If you have any questions or you'd like to join a live session, I'd love to hear from you. And yeah, good luck.